Super secret agent. It's a good thing I got my puzzle to keep me busy. Just one more piece and whoops! Oh well, it's the most exciting thing that's happened around here for days. Meanwhile, at the Bureau of British Secret Affairs, a strange, fantastic story is about to unfold. Ben, as your chief, it is not easy for me to keep track of all my 32 British secret agents. Therefore, I have decided that we should all wear the same specially colored tops. Then we should be able to spot each other in a crowd of people. Now, the new hat shop across the street is waiting with new hats right now. And they're only charging us half price. <laughs> Isn't that smashing? Yeah! A jolly look! Yeah, 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 yeah. There now, Chief. I think that does it. Excellent work, my good man. Excellent. Brother! <laughs> Smashing! But wait, is this really a hat seller and his assistant? Or are they, in fact... Dr. Madcap, are we ready for our secret plan? Yes, Greta, my cool. Proceed. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Captain Greta Gould. Precisely. You are all my prisoners. And when I get you to my hideout, I shall make you give me all the secret information locked in your brain. Impossible. Preposterous, Diary. How do you propose to get this information from us? Yes, my brain drain. But, but, it won't work. It's not my size. It fits anyone. Anyone with secrets. <laughs> this will put you to Betty by for a little while. <laughs> I say, stop it. Stop it, I hate. Yeah. Now for the next step in my plan. <laughs> secret agents were shopping, but we got the bargain. <laughs> I love you, darling. You're all evil. <laughs> <laughs> Almost finished. I think number one wants me. You finished my puzzle, number one. Thanks a million. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> British agent Fenwick George. How do you do? 32 British agents have been stolen by Dr. Madcap McCool. You will help Mr. George find them. You can count on me, Mr. George. Danger is my business. <laughs> Neat trick. Obviously a clever fellow. <laughs> uh, Riggs here has developed this anti-truth collar so that Madcap can't force any secrets out of you. No, here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me your name. That's easy. My name is... <laughs> My, but that works well. <laughs> oh, yes! 
first class is the only way to travel. The only way to travel. Hello? Oh, my chicken leg's out of order. Yes, number one. Michael, you're in danger. We just learned that Thermo George is really Dr. Madcap. But that's impossible, number one. We're having a great trip together. Now listen, you nit. Shh. Pretend you don't know who he really is. Let him lead you to those missing agents. Whatever you say, number one. Hello? Oh, yes. It's for you, McCool. Why, thank you. Hello? Cool McCool here. Now we've got him. I'll just take this anti truth card. Then he'll tell me everything. You'll get nothing out of my head. Was there ever a fool like Cool McCool? <laughs> Nothing's happening. Extra thick head. More power! It's no use! It's got to work. like a million volts. These straps are a snap. Those captains who hate me right here, will they be glad to see me? Well, they didn't even offer me a ride home. Great job, McCool. Let me shake your hand. <laughs> that will never happen again, number one. All of my sight, you Now number one thinks me the fool has no respect for the name McCool. But in the days gone by, right up at the top, there was Harry McCool. He was my pop. <sighs> my pop the cop. <laughs> Present you with this extremely valuable solid gold key to the city. It's the Flying Demon. I accept this award in the name of all good for nothing rotten crooks. <laughs> strikes again. Police are baffled. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I'm for then. What did he say, Harry? Ooh, what did he say? He said he's baffled, too. <laughs> and hungry. Listen, and that. What did he say now, Harry? They say he's blind, but he would. Ah, you don't say. I'd sure by golly like to get my hands on that flying demon. Mm -hmm. But how the dickens are we going to catch him? What's faster than an airplane? Another man, that boy, man, huh? What did he say, Harry? What, what did he say? He says that someday there'll be jet planes that fly 600 miles per hour. <laughs> I don't know. Jet planes? 600 miles per hour? <laughs> what do you think of that? It could use a little mustard. No, no, Tom's just invented the jet plane. Now we can capture the flying demon. Oh, that still could have used a little mustard. When I say three, open the nozzle. One, two, three. And my baby. What did he say, Harry? What, what, what did he say? He said you were right. It needs mustard. Huh. Stand by to puff off. Five, four, three. Say it's late. We gotta report back at the station. Two, one, now. Where the dickens is McCool and his...
is too many. They're late. McCool checking in and out. Sergeant, that'll never happen again. <laughs> the break, McCool! The break! It still confused a little mustard. I hope that goofy sergeant has a sense of humor. McCall! I didn't mean you, sergeant. There's another goofy sergeant. That is, I... <laughs> Shut up, McCall. The flying demon has just pulled another job. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I'm for that. What'd he say, Harry? What'd he say? He said he's baffled, too. Shut up, McCool. The three of you are working overtime till that demon is caught. Now get out of here! <laughs> Isn't she a beauty? We'll capture the flying demon with her, and then won't the sergeant sing a different tune? All right, men, let's go. Well, hold it, Harry, hold it, hold it. We can't take no trip in an unauthorized vehicle. It ain't an official police department bike no more. That's easily taken care of. I'll just pin my badge on her and make her official. I christen you Harry McCool's jet bike badge number 743. <laughs> It's a flying demon. Another man, that boy, man. Why say, Harry? Whoa, what? Asses! I'll get him the next time around.
a jailbird owl, and you'll be in this nest for knees. I mean, in this nest for keeps. <laughs> Well, number one, the owl is all cooped up. What's my next assignment? Your next assignment is to get the owl. But number one, you mean... Yes, the owl has flown the coop. He escaped a few weeks ago. We were lucky enough to get movies of the escape. Uh, lights out. Do I have time to get some popcorn, number one? Look cool! Now, this person is top security. No dynamite. Lights on! Now, since his escape a mere hour ago, two more buildings have been blown up just that way. And robbed, too. The 11th and the 12th National Banks. Any witnesses, number one? Friday, send in the witness. Yes, sir! Now, can you tell us exactly what happened, man? Speak up, man. We're the good guys. Five hundred pound canary. Five hundred pound canary. Oh, take this babbler away, will you please? Five hundred pound canary. The five hundred canary. What do I do now, number one? You get into your coolmobile and stop the owl and find out what this dangerous power is. Danger is my business, number one. Whoops! Say that again. Danger is my business, number one. Ah, there's the owl's hideout now. I'll press the rope ejector button.
business. <laughs> 